Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. And welcome to the Friday Five. Five Cinco de Mayo edition. Yes. So this weekend is the Cinco de Mayo celebration. So hopefully everybody will have an awesome time celebrating, eating tacos, churros, and listening to mariachi music. So it's all about the Cinco de Mayo this weekend. Yeah, that's right. And remember to go ahead and take Uber or Lyft or, or taxi or if call a friend. Yes, if you're drinking, don't drive, please. Yeah. And uh, check out our tree. This one has been on on our lobby and um, I love the little pinatas. We'll it's have. just so cute. I love the little mariachi hats. Uh, these are my favorite. Yeah. Um, anyway, so stop by if you want to come by and take a picture with our tree uh, and visit us. Yeah, absolutely. So let's go ahead and get started. Yes, yeah, so Friday 5 and so number one. Child support liens. Yes, so this one surprises a lot of people. You know, when you're going through an accident case and you're at the end of it, you know, you've already accepted a settlement offer and now we're just waiting on the check. And then the insurance company sends a notification that they've been notified that you owe money for child support. And, and you you're have like, to pay it. what? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you are like that. Yeah. And sometimes the attorney is too. You're supposed yeah. to, you should tell your attorney if you do. Yes, if you do owe money, a child support lien. make sure that you let your attorney know so yeah. you guys are prepared for that. So we'll have to deal with that when it comes. Um, sometimes you can get them to take a, a, a slightly less amount so you can get a little bit more money into the client's pocket. They're not going to reduce the total amount owed, just amount that may have to be paid right Yes, now. so make sure that, you know, you read um, the article here about that, okay? Yeah. So number, number two, two. 11 things your kids need to hear to grow up to be thoughtful and well-adjusted. Yes, so what are those 11 things? Well, a few examples, it's like, I am sorry, you are right, I was wrong. I don't know. Yes. I don't know. Exactly. It's okay to admit that. It's, yeah. So tell your kids, I trust you, especially for something that that's in their control. Yeah. And let them definitely. let them be proud of that. Exactly. This is this is a great article. So make sure you click on the link and go read that article. Okay. So number yeah. three. Number three, insurance company tricks. Okay. So we've been talking about uh, insurance company tricks for the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. There's plenty of them. In this situation, they're talking about your, the adjuster may talk to you and say, hey, you know what, I need a decision. I need a decision today, tomorrow, whatever it is. And they make up these random uh, deadlines that are really not true. Uh, by Texas law, you have two years from the date of the accident to either settle the case or if you need to, you can file a lawsuit mm -hmm. uh, and then go to a trial or, or settle it at that point. But you have two years, basically. So. Don't believe them when they say, we need to have an answer today, especially when they call you, what, the next day after an accident or the week after an accident and want to settle something. Don't do it. Don't fall for that. Yes, there's no no rush on your decision. You can make that decision, okay, later yeah. on. So don't feel like you have to just do it right away. All right, number All right. four. Number four, Google search made easier with these 40 tips. So these are things that you can Google, uh, do a search on Google and uh, maybe you didn't know about it. Yeah, here's for example right here is a, this is a bubble that you can put on your phone. So if you're trying to hang a picture, you can tell if it's straight or not. Yeah, so this is great because a lot of the times, you know, you're in the middle of a hanging a picture or doing a project and you don't know, just but you have your phone handy, so it's just, you know, a Google search away. Yeah, definitely I've used this uh, conversion between units, um, Fahrenheit, Celsius, or Yes, and the, uh, you know, pounds, generic kilos random number generator we have used that several times you know throughout our contest yeah so definitely take advantage of this there is uh 40 tips on this article so make sure you click it and you read it okay my, my just real quickly do flights with it oh yeah definitely check flights because uh -huh. it'll show you the prices of different areas so maybe you don't know exactly where you want to go but you have a budget type go to google flights and it will, and it will show you from where you are how much it will be to different locations yes. Yeah, okay. so definitely check it out. All right, so the number five is the DREAM program, yeah. and it's something that we experienced at a conference last week. Uh, it was put on the, the, the presentation by a man named Dan Ralph, who is a DREAM coach, mm -hmm. okay? And what's really interesting is that my first reaction is, why do we even need somebody to help us with our dreams? True. You know, but we're trying to implement some of this stuff in the office. We had already been trying to encourage or been encouraging our staff to go back to school and be in college, whatever they're doing, and trying to lift them up and help them with that, be flexible where we need to be. But I think we're going to try to actually do 
something even more to get help them get to their goals and dreams help them lay out a road map and we're not talking about money necessarily we're talking about helping them make make steps to achieve the goals that they want and I'm also very excited because I think we're going to be able to implement it somehow with our clients. That will be great. That will be great. And maybe, you know, we only see them for a short amount of time and, and we have this case with them. But maybe we can, if there's something we can ask them, you know, tell us what some of your goals are. If there's a way we can help them get there. I definitely want to do that. Yes, so that will that will be exciting, and we can see, you know, people reaching their dreams, which is even better. So it's um, exciting. Yeah. Make sure you read this article. It's uh, hope everybody has a great weekend. Enjoy your Cinco de Mayo celebration, and we'll see you next All week. All right, take care, everybody. Bye.